What up, though, man? What it be like? What up, Mr. Pizza, Belly D? What's going on? Man, I'm glad the Olympics, over, Olympics is over with. The Olympics is over as far as, like, being televised. But will it ever be over? No. Not after this year's debacle. What debacle happened? Miss Ray Gunn. Who? I don't know. I ain't following none of the Olympics. Okay. I, you know. So, and I only know her her stage name, but the Olympic break dancer chick from Australia, mm-hmm. she basically got up there with six year old moves that be like, "Hey, look what I can do!" Competed in the Olympics and did such a bad job that now the Olympics don't want breakdancing back. It won't be back in the 2028 <laughs> Olympic Games. Hey, that's why uh, she looked like she was just up there. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know that was breakdancing, but I, I guess, I mean. She, I, I, there's a whole... So I'm just gonna sum it up. She, her husband, the 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 Olympic Committee was like, "Hey, we want to include break dancing." So they went to the head dance committee, and the head dance committee is ballrooming. Well, they reached out for people who could break dance, and her and her husband, her stage name is Ray Gunn. I forget the lady's full name. I think it's Rachel. I think it's Rachel Gunn. Rachel Gunn, a.k.a. Ray Gunn, she, tur- yeah, I know, right? Um, right? She turned around, her and her husband basically was like, hey, my wife, well, Rachel, I have a PhD in breakdancing, which apparently that's a real thing. And basically, her and her husband set up, she set up a committee with her husband as the main person who got her in, and they they pretty much made sure she got in by like making sure other people who were better than her didn't compete or got a poor thing. Like once again, remember the Olympics and the ballroom committee know nothing about break dancing. So they pretty much got her in the Olympic game through bullshit. And she did such a bad job. They said they don't ever want it. But a lot of people are saying what they did was damn near criminal. And they want her to be held accountable for it, which I'm not going to lie. I've seen real breakdance. And there are, there. it was other breakdancers there. It's just she did so bad. That's all we're talking about. But I'm not going to lie. I didn't even know that was considered breakdance. I thought she was just having a seizure or something, to be honest about it. I didn't know what... Look, hey, look, I'm I, look, I'm not a breakdance guy. You know what I'm saying? If if we was had a beatbox in the Olympics, okay, cool. I can check that out. But she looked like she was having a seizure. She looked like she was trying to do the Roger Rabbit or something. You know what I'm saying? Up there twisting and can on. So I mean You should see her husband who's a break dancer. Some of the stuff they show on Facebook, those are um break dancers. They could they could have had a jit competition to um What's the um the Memphis Step or Chicago Step or something whatever they call it. Well, I don't know what they call it, but you know what I'm saying. They you talk about when they be out here jitting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could have put that in there. That could have been in the Olympics. But other than that, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Because it looked it looked like some um she scored hot garbage. To be honest about it, looked like some straight That's up hot what garbage. She scored. I think she scored like. They gave her points for creativity, and the rest of her scores were zero, zero, zero. So she won a gold medal for some zeros. Oh, she won. She didn't win nothing. Oh, but what she won was the notoriety for being so bad and deliberately. I don't care what anybody says. She bombed this. Her and her husband did this bullshit, which I think that's the real crime here because there are real uh, break dancers that yo. They should have been crazily spinning, like spinning tops on their head. I would have loved to have seen this. This chick, she botched it. 
And now, after like a week or so, or after two weeks of us talking crap, she's like, oh, me and my family's on sabbatical. We've gotten some real hate mail. We're just trying to take a break. So could y'all please be? No, you did some bullshit. It's time for you to answer. <laughs> Don't try to bullshit and then be like, oh, there was no, y'all knew y'all. Come on. Man, you, hey, it, 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 it wasn't criminal. It was um business. It was just I don't know, man. I didn't know it was they was doing something that 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 was that scantless though. You know what I'm saying? What girl? Yeah, but can you hear me? Yeah, I can. You. Okay. Um I was trying to have you run through my headphones, but I could take them off. So, um, I'm gonna put it to you like this, man. Seriously, let's let's look at it from this, right? You literally have a a, a genre, right? We always talk about how it's not enough, like ethnicity in the Olympics is track and field is all this. Here, you actually had a way to expose a culture to the world, which they did, but it was pretty much, they put a spoof movie up. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it, 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 it'd be like, yo, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you your first movie and I show you some bullshit. Like, seriously, it's like, come on, man. Like, hey, I'm going to show you the best of the best and here's something like I'm bragging about this. And better yet, I'm gonna take you to the best food place ever. Ever, ever. I'm talking like, yo, we got food here, it's great, great, great. And then, you know, I give you some bullshit quiz notes, or you know what I'm saying? Or I, I give you some like crap garbage. I give you, I'm talking about like I'm the greatest chef. I got this chef here. The chef shows up and he's using canned chef boy RD. Come on, man. That's that that'd be some bull, and that's what they did. And when you do shit like that, you gotta answer for shit like that. Seriously. I mean, if you can get away with it, can you really blame them? No. So she did it for entertaining purposes. I swear to God, it was it was entertaining to a point where it was stupid. You know how the movies is that's so bad, it's good. And I think that's that was the setup for what she did. It was so bad that it was good that she actually thought that she was break dancing, and it looked like she was she was um like I said, it was having a seizure. But uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. Hey, hey, man, I hope Skinny Pop Popcorn be the sponsor of this show because this is the second time, this second week in a row, bro. You sit up here eating Skinny Popcorn, man. Hey, matter of fact. What what flavor is that? That's regular. Pl mm -hmm. That's nice. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to eat better and shit, man. Seriously. Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with trying to eat better. I'm I I am too. You know what? I'm I'm a, I'm a. I got my Olympic shots, man. Take them. I have. I've been. I've been. Um. I've been Olympic in for a week now. Okay. And literally a, a week. It's been a week now. I'm down a whole pound. I'm down a whole pound. I, Clap that up, man. And I, 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 I appreciate that. Look, appreciate that. So one pound closer, yo. I, I yo. And I don't mean that sarcastically. Clap that up, because hey, they say a journey of a thousand steps begin with one mile, or in this case, one pound. Let's give it up. Yeah, man, you know, I ain't, I ain't no thousand pounds, but, you know, no. I'm a, I, <laughs> <laughs> no. I know, man, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man, but yeah, though, it was, a, um, but no, congratulations, though, I, congratulations, seriously, you know, you know how I am, I'm always in the gym anyway, so, now, you know what I'm saying, I, I got my Richard Simmons in my headphones, sweating to the oldies and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But you won't see me rocking no tights, though. No time show. No time show. Don't get it, that, Mike. That... You ain't going <laughs> to. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh -uh. No, no, no chance. No chance. No, Wait, you no, got to no. get this little curly Frodo. You can at least rock the little curly Frodo that he be having. R.I.P. Richard Simmons, because he did pass away. You know? Oh, I ain't know he passed away, though. But, you know, that's, that's my son. But, you know. 
But yeah, though, man, I, I started taking the shots and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I, I, w- I was, you know what? The shots make me sleepy. I be struggling. I be trying my best to stay awake. Well, you know what I'm saying? Because I take them first thing in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I be so tired. Just like, oh, my goodness gracious. But I ain't, I'm not going to get too into detail about what happened. I'll tell you everything that's been going on because it's, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of stomach turning because, you know, my stomach was turning. So uh, you you catch the hint on that one. So I ain't gonna get into detail because that'd be you know what I'm saying. Well, let's put it like this: two ways to lose weight. Let it go through you, and then if you're sleeping, you can't eat. So those yo two thirds of the way there, sir. Hey, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, man. But it's 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 been a it's been a tough journey. You know what I'm saying. But. I got so many jokes I want to say to that, but I I can't I can't I, I'm trying I'm trying I'm been working on some stuff just been trying to keep it clean and everything like that, but I I, I uh, what oh no <laughs> no we we here delivered the raw on a on an unfiltered truth. Okay, you want to get some unfiltered truth? Why that bit? Why um the uh, gold medal <laughs> chick um the what what's her name? Biles, I think she is. Simone that's her Biles, name? what about her? Yeah. They were showing this video that she was on a mound. I guess she's from Houston or whatever. She was p- throwing out a pitch and whatnot, right? Oh, and she looks like, like a child. Yeah, man, she walked up to the catcher, dog. It was like she just got smaller the closer she got to the catcher. I could have. She looked like she was like three eleven. Dude had to be at least six seven or something. You know what I'm saying? He he gave well, her a hug he, and everything. It was I, like. I, was I think she's like right at five. She might be four seven or four eleven. She's she's short. You know. Oh well. Hey, whatever the case may be, she she did her thing at the Olympics, and now her mother's trying to reach out to her, talking about she. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even reach out to her. She decided to go to the media, to have the media reach out to her mother to try to reach out to her and whatnot. I mean, if I ain't talked to my daughter in all these many years and whatnot, and if I really want to talk to her, I am. I'm not gonna say, oh, she don't want to talk to me since she won her medals. No, you just want some attention. That's all it comes down to. You want some attention, and you know what I'm saying? She probably wasn't feeding into it, but you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do you that. That's, that's, that's some real petty stuff right there. You know what I'm saying? No, you know, people, let's keep it real. And I, I, for somebody who um, struggles with family, is, you know, immediate family and whatnot, I'm just going to simply say a lot of times family doesn't family likes things to be overlooked cuz they're family and you know if, if it was anybody else right if it yeah. if it was a boss or a former boyfriend and they did something like that it would be you guys are trying to get attention but I guess cuz it's moms it's like yeah but it's but I still agree with you if you want to be sincere, take it off camera, take it off social media. You know, now had she reached out to her, I did all this, and then like Simone Biles, they came back and like, yeah, my mom, she reached out to me, so we're trying to build this relationship back. I'd be like, okay, cool, but yeah, I, I agree with you, Mike. It's it, it, that's definitely an attention grab. You know, it's like, and let's keep it real, parents, children do not owe parents anything. Okay, the the the, the way that is supposed to work is that mm-hmm. parents become the foundation for their children. In certain communities, right, it's the other way around. Children become the foundation for parents, and that's why things are backwards. That's never how it's supposed to be. Like, you know, I think she was on drugs or whatnot. Yeah. All right. Cool, but your your daughter she got on and I, now if you want to say hey my daughter is an Olympic thing, despite me she achieved this yo most definitely. But if you ain't really giving no props, because I did see like glimpses of it, it's like come on moms, I get it. She's a Olympic gold medal. We're gonna attach my face and my name to it and call it a day. You know, man, forget all that. You know what I'm saying? You you ain't putting in no work. You wasn't here. You hey uh. How, how what did you say? You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. You good. 
Just stay, continue to stay over there. We straight. You know what I'm saying? That's like this podcast show. You know what I'm saying? Look, I started this with my partner face. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey, it is what it is. Wasn't nobody else really there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got to keep shooting in the gym. Face decided to retire, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? We still chop it up. You know what I'm saying? So it's you you can't stop anything. Right. You got to keep moving forward. And she made her she made her choice to smoke crack or heroin or whatever the case may be with her situation. Okay, you right. had to give your child up. Okay, cool. But if you want to reach out to me, reach out to me away, like you said, away from the media, away from all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? This right here, this is entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Like how I sit back and I crack jokes, talk, I talk so much smack that a lot of people don't even realize this. I mean, well, hell, you know what I'm saying? When I'm around, get your galoshes out because we're going to be some step through some shit. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people want to sit back and say, oh, you talking about your personal life. I may talk about elements, but I'm not calling anybody out that I care about, about what I do because, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna disrespect them. Right. Even if I, can, I can truly hate somebody to my core. But I'm not finna go to go to Twitter and tweet about it. You know what I'm saying? If I really got beef with you, trust and believe me, I'm gonna knock on your door, call you, or have somebody else get in touch with you, tell them to call me so we can solve this situation and problem. Because you know, I grew up in the 80s. You know, y'all didn't have Twitter in. fingers back in yeah, the 80s. I don't, I don't, hey, if I exercise, I'm gonna exercise one muscle. And that's my strap finger. I'm just saying. That, <laughs> hey, I'm saying like SEAL Team 6. I'm 10 out of 10 of moving targets. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't going to run you down, but uh, hey, it is what it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a hole in you about the size of a CD. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to. If I do, if I mention some stuff on here, just take it as entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Just like your girls on Saturday night when she getting off her knees. She, ain't, she wasn't at church because she was on her knees. She wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And she wasn't praying, but she was calling for the Lord. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? That's why she be always wearing her headphones because I'm trying to give her eargasm. You know what I'm saying? Every time she hear my voice, she get moist. She like a little sponge. She's a little spongy sponge. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you just gave that whole thing. Well, you know, I'm trying to be better. No, you not. Stop all I, that. I, I, I am trying to be better. No, you told me no. I ain't had to be better. So I'm just finna do me like I always do. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Yeah, I wouldn't have even made the whole comment about that. I'm just going to give you what it is. I'm like, yo, I, hey. I'm grown, but. You know, hey, the truth is the hey, truth. I'm not about look, to change. I, I rock with the truth. And if the truth is going to be unfiltered, so shall I be. Shit. Hey, only time I grow is when I, only time I grow is when I pop that pill and I get a couple extra inches. You know what I'm saying? I've had a blood flow flowing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tickle your tonsils. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take it all the way down to your esophagus. What you want you to throw up we, on? We, 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 you know uh, see, see, as my <laughs> grandmother would say, as my grandmother would say, my late grandmother Irene Levy would say, "You just had to run out, huh? You just had to run out." I mean, you hey, was man, already I at said, the I... door putting on your shoes anyway, but you just had to go ahead and step on out, huh? Hey, man, I try to kick the doors off the hinges. You know what I'm saying? Because if I, hey, if I get thirty days from Facebook, guess what? I'm finna, I'm finna earn these thirty days. I'm going to earn every bit of it, and I'm going to still come back, and I'm going to be laughing all the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, so. Facebook is like, you know, this generation, seriously, because they grew up online pretty much, they don't have the contact that we have. You know, I'm like, yo, we we used to dot I's and cross T's and stump holes. That's, that's, that's how we did. And we you know, know curses. And we know how to drive a manual. True. So true. So, hey, just know. to let you know real quick before you get too deep into it, you know we live on Facebook. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Cool. 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 And YouTube. So, I'm just letting you know. I, you think, I'm 37 years old. You think this is the first time I'm going to get in trouble for some sh- You think this is the first time I'm getting in trouble? Hey, I'm just saying, man, some people, you know, get a little sensitive and stuff. You know what I'm no, saying? Like, oh, girl, no. that got sensitive when R. Kelly peed on her. So, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes things happen. Hey, sometimes that acid in your eye, I heard, do burn. I don't know. Everybody I gave a golden shower to would never complain about it. (laughs) (laughs) 
hey, you said I could go for it, so I'm going. I'm I going. Guess, I guess we, yeah, I guess we, hey, look, let me kick this bad boy in the four wheel, four by four, four wheel drive. We going all the way off road. Okay, fair enough. Hey. I, I'm just saying though, like, um, no, seriously, it, we live in America. Mm -hmm. And I know if I was Russia, China, or any of the other countries, I'd be laughing my ass off. When did we become so sensitive? When did what my whole deal is this generation grew up like on Family Guy, you know, all that stuff. And Family Guy and everything, the PJs and all that. Come on, what are we sensitive about? Oh, my feelings. I could care less about your feelings. I care more about the facts. I'm like, what are you guys so uh, you know, they're, they're trying to cancel him and them, or they were trying to. They found out quickly that was a fail. But it's like, my feelings. He just so, yeah, yeah, uh, sir, uh, gentlemen. Fuck your folks. feelings. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your feelings. You know what I'm saying? You sen sensitive little bitch. That's what it is. Everybody's so goddamn sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Because they so attached to their mama tit. And they don't want to let that tit go. You know what I'm saying? Go get some... Let the tit go. Go find a fresh tit to go suck on. It ain't your mama. Because constantly being sucking on your mama tit for so long is kind of weird. But, you know what I'm saying? People want to be sensitive. They cry a lot at night. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I lost my job. Mm. Shit happens. Guess what? I bounce back. But everybody want to sit back. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. I feel so bad. The world is coming to an end. I feel miss Oh, suck the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and go, 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 go find a hustle. You know what I'm saying? Quit bitching and go get it. And most girl, why my damn dog bothering me? You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here like, well, what's the problem? What, what's really the big issue? What what makes you so sensitive that you got to cry so much? What is it? You know what I'm saying? I'm finna run to Facebook and tell everybody my problems and my issues. Maybe that's the reason why a lot of people don't respect you because you're constantly running to Facebook with all your problems and issues. And most of the times, the stuff that's on Facebook, uh, TikTok, Snapchat, is only the good stuff. You don't want to talk about the uh, lights being cut off. You don't want to talk about the bad times. You only want to post the good times. Oh, when you take the you take a million pictures and you take the best picture out of the million pictures. You know what I'm saying? People be up there taking vacations with their last bit of money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got a dime left. Oh, I'm on vacation. This is the best life. Like some of these people that be um, excuse me, some of the influencers and stuff. They be sitting there talking about, oh, I'm taking these trips. I got these men buying this. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. Wait a minute, hold on. How you not need a man? But the man just paid for the trip. Couple, what, what, what math is that? Cause that that math ain't mathing right. You know what I'm saying? Then, <laughs> I don't know. It was a few years back. How uh, some chick got mad at Future or some shit like that. That Future paid for her to come down. You know, Future was paying to come for you to come down so he can smash. But all yeah. of a sudden, you don't want to give him none, and he left you. What you mad about? You knew what the deal was. It ain't tricking if you got it. He had it, so he was trying to trick, and you put huh. yourself in the trick position. Okay. So he is what it is. Let me stop you there, sir. Okay, go ahead. We have to stop saying that. I hate that term. It ain't tricking if you... Yes, it is. You tricking because you got it. Let's call it <laughs> you act like being broke and you coming up with the money ain't tricking. No, no, no. You have to have money to trick. So it was tricking, right? And yeah. that's cool. That's No, no, that's cool. I ain't mad that you're tricking. But that's... Just when people say it ain't tricking if you got it, what you what, what you talking about? If you don't got it, you can't trick. Like, <laughs> like yo, I, I'm just, I just, I just wanted to say that because I'm like, hey, aside from everything else, you're right. I find it so interesting that women, like the women that come out on these, get flued out, flued out. They wait to get there to say they're not fucking. Why don't you say you're not fucking when he sent you that plane ticket? Why <laughs> didn't he say, well, I'm, I'm serious. Why didn't you say, hey, you know what? Just to let you know, we're not doing anything, right? I'm going to come down there. I'm not going to touch you. We're going to treat it as friends. 
And I guarantee you that plane the ticket way that, that that ticket ain't gonna be that ticket's gonna you gonna get to the airport, it's not gonna be there. You try to message to you, you're gonna be left on red, right? I'm just saying, women know what they be doing. It'd be crazy because everybody acts like they stupid. Come on, nah. Let me tell you something. And I stand on this. Let Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow from the Avengers. My baby mom. Say, say some, hey, <laughs> Tom, I want to, you know, I want to bring you out here, you know. You think I? Uh, you think in the back of my head as a man, you think I'm not about to smash this? Some people won't, though. Some people are sensitive not to say, "I'm not oh, going to do that." Well, that that's look. Look, let me tell you something. Fortune favors the bold, and if you ain't bold enough, closed mouths don't get fed. But I can let you know this mouth. And you just close legs, from what I hear. That too. Trust me, this mouth is going to be feeding if it's Scarlett Johansson or any of my other fantasy picks. Maya's on that list, too. All right. If it's Maya or Scarlett Johansson, it's going down. I, 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 I could care less. That's the, yo, it is what it is. I'm just saying, when a man gets flued out, and trust me, men do get flued out, trust me, you never hear a man, I'm not going to... I didn't think about it. Yeah, you did. Hey, let me ask you something real quick. Real quick. What's up? Quick. You know how I'm, a lot of these females out here talking about I want to get slutted out, right? Nah. Yeah. If a man say, baby girl, why don't you come slut me out? Why don't you bring a couple of your friends through? Why they look the same as how women say they want to get slut out? They in control when they getting about sixteen, my bad, about three or four ran through her. It's not well, looked at. Because, that's because, sir, when you say when a woman gets slutted out, she wants to be dominated. So when a dude say he want to get slutted out, uh, I guess he's about to be on the bottom in prison, or they all about to be pegging him or something. <laughs> like I'm just I. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what it is. Now, if you want to say, hey, look, a guy can say, he can't say get sweated out, but he can say, hey, I want to sow some oats because that's what you should be doing. You should be sowing your oats. And your girl says she got three or four friends, but she's saying she got three or four fields for you to plow, okay? You got three or four fields to lay some to lay your seed in, to lay, to, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah you ain't slutting me out. I'm like, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. I'm just saying, but hey. you gotta look at it. Men can't be, men cannot be hoes. I'm just gonna stand on that. Men cannot be hoes. I know that's gonna offend a lot of people, but men just cannot be hoes. They just see we're not equal. Men and women are not equal because our value isn't the same. Okay, absolutely. Seriously. So absolutely, you know, absolutely, absolutely. Because it's like this, though. You know what I'm saying? When a man is younger. We really don't have value from what they say. We don't have value. We're not going to have value because we don't have a lot of stuff. And women, when they're younger, they get all the value in the world. But as they get older and they hit that decline, it's all downhill. Mm. And the median value start going up. But yet, yet, check this out. Here's the hypocritical part of it all. Okay. When a woman is younger, it's okay if she find her an older man. But if a man is older and he find him a younger woman, it's not okay. He's a it, it pedophile. Is. It he, is. It, it is. It is. It is. It's okay. Let me tell you why it's okay. Let me tell you exactly why it's okay. Now you know me. I'm a nerd, so I I I deal in history and things like that. Right. Right. So back in the day, I'm talking about King Arthur and castles and swords and on horseback and cavalry. Right, <laughs> them, no, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. them kings, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Them kings were 40 years old banging out 12 and 13 year olds. Ooh, that's man, how that's it was. Man. Seriously, yeah, sure. that's how it was. It was it was rare if you actually had a prince 
marry a princess of the same age. That was more of an arranged thing. But as a king, first of all, your life expectancy back then was probably 40. Okay. For one, they didn't even have in indoor plumbing until the Moors showed up and showed them how to bathe and wipe their ass. But that was the norm back then, you know. So that's kind of what that's honestly kind of why that is. Now let's go up to these days. I'm not saying hold up, hold up. The genius in the building. <laughs> oh the, the genius. What's up? What's up? Yo, 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 what up, though? Oh, nothing. Just trying to make just, it, my brother. You came in on a perfect time. We're actually talking about how men and women are viewed and valued. And I was just simply saying, like, back in the day of, like, King Arthur and shit, 40-year-old men used to marry 13- and 14-year-old girls, right? That's how it used to be, all right? Because the life expectancy wasn't that high. Now let's look at it. I'm not saying we're marrying 13, 14 year old girls, but what I am saying is that it shouldn't be a big deal if I'm 42 and I want to go get something 21. Why is that a problem? Okay, because let's keep it real. Don't most women trip out about being 40 having kids? Okay, cool. You're afraid of having kids because you could die and all that. Okay, cool. Let me go get this 21 year old. She's not afraid of dying and having kids. As a matter of fact, she got a lot of eggs that I need to plant. So it's not a big deal. I'm just being serious. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, hey, fellas, if I'm wrong, you can stop me. Just, yo, you can it, tell me if I'm wrong. It's the interesting premise. I'll tell you that much. Because uh, a lot of the women who are 40 are like, oh, he's going to get the 21-year-old. Well, what's wrong with him? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's their whole, to me, that's their whole dynamic. Like, let the young niggas go and, and get the young girls. You old heads, y'all had y'all chance. Y'all want to wait until y'all all use and abuse to go get something over here. At least that's how I see it. I can but wait a minute. Though. Wait a minute. In high school, we knew about the R. Shelleys. We knew about the R. Shelleys. They was, the younger girls was messing with them older dudes. That is true. So yeah. now I'm the older dude, and guess what? My turn. My turn. <laughs> my turn. Now, I just want to preface this by saying I like my 21 and up. 18 is fine, but I prefer 21 and up. Nah, just I, I guess I will tell you. You ready? Uh, it, it's, it's, I, I, I'm, I have a skewed vision to that because okay. I, got, I got two little girls. I'll be damned if an old nigga come, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. We like, because then I got to call the bag of nuts crew and all my other niggas, and then we got to have a conversation hey, with somebody. I leave the dog. Hey, you know, we coming with I'm not going after my problem. My problem. <laughs> I promise. This, I, I, I wasn't coming for your daughters. I swear I wasn't. I swear I wasn't. Well, well they only 85, but I was saying in the future. Well, definitely they ain't coming. No, sir, 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 sir. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Hey, if somebody come at your doors because they're eight and five, we hey, we we gonna cut this off and we just gonna grab some shovels. You know what I'm saying? It, that, that's yeah, that's really, really gotta say much to that one. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, we already know what this is. Like, hey, I and I'm a fan of torture, so you know what I'm saying? You you gotta gotta go to the afterlife friends. easily. I'm just saying. Exactly. Is that now? I do apologize. I, I came in here on the live. I got to come back for a minute. We at my in laws' house. We about to dip out. So when I get to the crib around the corner, I'm gonna have to come back and join if y'all gonna still be on. No problem. Yeah, we good. Go ahead, man. Do your thing. All right. Give me about ten minutes. All right. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you know yeah. what I'm saying. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying. A lot of people coming at coming at people sideways. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like this. I even say some of these 16 year olds that's still mm -hmm. in school that got babies and whatnot. I'm just speaking from that perspective because I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no stable household. They struggling trying to get their senior dues and stuff like that. What? It may not be right. Morally right to a lot of people, but they doing what they have to do to get the things that they need. And it's like this. I was having a conversation. I know some people that's, you know, they um, they from they from the streets and they you know do street things. 
f- f- flip it. You know what I'm saying? They sell they sell the poon tang. You know what I'm saying? I got friends of all characters. You know what I'm saying? They sell the poon tang. So they got is they a lot of people won't complain that it's not right for a man to buy a hooker and whatnot. But it's okay if a woman has to sell her body to provide for her family. So who she's selling it to if no one's buying it? That that don't make sense to me. It's kind of hypocritical all the way around. If it benefits the woman, it's okay. When it don't benefits the woman, it's not okay. I was told, I heard this from a woman. She mm-hmm. said there's a reason why a wallet and a coochie is shaped the same. Is a reason they got folds in it. A woman said that. A woman told me that. Another <laughs> thing I've heard that I've heard women say that hey, if you got a coochie, you shouldn't be broke. And that's the honest to God truth. I'm you know just, what I'm saying? It's like this. How you got a how you got a man at home, you gotta go to another man. How you wait, wait, how you how you hitting and letting these dudes hit and you still broke? I mean, even if you say pay, you know, hey, can we? Tra- and let's keep it real. Let me let, let me say this, right? I'm not against prostitution. It's a job, a hazardous one. All right. You're you are a pleasure social worker. Okay. All right. A professional in- professional le- lady of leisure. Yeah. Okay. Over in Canada and other com- countries, they get health benefits. They get regular checkups and stuff. So, you know, I mean, hey, it's it's crazy because this this dynamic of for women, you got to remember, we live in a whole culture. So, we're going to try to act like holism is a good thing. It's not probably a moral good thing, but it does pay. But let's keep it real. Somebody got to pay for the merchandise. And there's a lot of dudes that's willing to pay. All right. Sure. And if you're willing to sell, let's buy. But don't get mad at me because I'm buying. Yeah, that's just like how people is mad about people buying weed and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an advocate. Of, I'm not an advocate of marijuana. I'm not. It's my personal preference. I don't like it. But whatever you do, that's your business. I don't care. As long as it don't personally affect me. So if you decide to go out and get you a lady of the night, it don't affect me. What you eat don't make me shit. I don't care. If you come back with herpes, what you eat don't make me shit. You come back with the virus, what you eat don't make me shit. I don't care. And that's the honest to God truth. I don't care about what goes on in your bedroom because I'm not in your bed. That's between you and whomever. Once it affect me, then I care. Just like how people be complaining about abortions and everything like that. Why are you worried about it? Honestly, you want to talk about this morally wrong? Who said I don't? Ain't no, ain't no chapter in the Bible said anything that is morally wrong to have an abortion. If it is, please point it out to me, and I'll be quiet. But until then, I'm not trying to hear that madness. Everybody want to force their opinion and their views on someone else. That's your opinion. That's your views. That's how you feel. That's your standard. Cool. Do you. Trust me. I'm going to do me. And I want some Doritos too because ain't no more skinny pop going around here. You know what I'm saying? We get some Dorito sponsorships and some skinny pops. You know what I'm saying? This two, hey, uh, see what I'm talking about? Black people. I swear to goodness. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what my, it is. My whole deal is this. I was talking to one of my fellow groomsmen about this today. You can still go get an abortion today. It's just at the state level, which is fine. But to try to mandate it for the government nationally, no. No. My whole deal actually is this. Why do we seek the rule of our government so desperately that we would sign away our freedom? Seriously. Do you really want the government telling you who who and who can't have babies? When they would know you you really don't want that. The See, government lot, Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
No, I was just saying the government, the government is run by its people, but nowadays the government runs the people instead of being ran by the people. And that's a dangerous thing. People, that's the thing. A lot of people talk about all this. Um, <laughs> a lot of people talk about what's up, Dave. Give me a sec. Hold on. Let me finish my point real quick. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people talk about they want the government to. I can't hear nobody. You got probably got to put some know. headphones on. Right here, stop mic cam edit remove from stage edit name the headline. This motherfucker. Let me mute this motherfucker real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, Dave. Oh, says muted. That piece of shit. Man, fuck. <laughs> Can't hear. How about you turn your shit up, put some speakers on, and put your headphones on? What the fuck is you in your work uniform? It's fucking Sunday. The trash runs on Sunday? No. He die hard for the company. <laughs> well, like I, like I was saying, but yeah, though, man, it's um a lot of people want to give their rights and make it communist for the government to take care of everything for them. They don't want to take it. This motherfucker drinking Jaeger by the neck? Well, goddamn. Shit. It must have been a hard <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> what? your money. This motherfucker just pulled a gun collection out. You <sighs> Oh, this is why the government wants to regulate. That's why the government regulates. Hey man, what was that? That's that new one. Dave. All right, he gone. He I don't know what happened. They uh we definitely about to get in trouble now. Eh, it is what it is. Wave the gun on live. Hey, you put your headphones in, man. Yeah, hang on. We yeah, might get so, in trouble for real. Hey, it is what it is. We're just having a little fun. Hey, when you go live, ain't no telling what happens. You know what I'm saying? You see what happens on the news. <laughs> Things happen all the time. Like that lady, that one lady was on the news, and the, um, that sign just came through and blew and smacked her in the face with it. You saw, mm. you saw that, right? She was out there doing a storm and when this you know the street signs, it just came and smacked her in the face. On <laughs> like she hit the ground so hard, it was just like, ooh, that's messed up. <laughs> I mean, hey, I wasn't I, I truly wasn't expecting Day to be flashing pistols and all, but you know, hey. Well, this is our show. I'll stand by it. You back? Oh, I'm here. Okay, can you All hear right, us now? Yo, yeah, I can hear you guys. Okay, cool. cool. Oh. How you guys doing? Are we good. Not bad. Yeah. No, you just in that wrong spot where the logo just gonna be sitting over your face for a while. You used to have Jay on your face, right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I know. I know. You used to getting tea bagged all the time. It's it's cool. That shit happens. Let me do something like this there. Yeah. <laughs> it was fine. 
No, but it's, nah, it's, it's I gotta carry this on my shoulder. I got this chip on my shoulder. Hey man, you eating chips anyway. Put another one on your shoulder. It's all right. Bill's character. <laughs> Sound like you're jealous, sir. I I I, I am jealous because I can't eat chips and stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. Sorry, the bills carry it, but put some duct tape on it. Be all right. Not here. But now, this guy. I don't think the U2 is the one that I want. I think it's T9. Nope, that ain't it either. No, but you know, I think seriously, we're so used to being controlled and so used to people doing shit for us that it actually scares us to have our own authority. But then again, I've seen what some of us do with that own authority, so I don't know which is worse, to be honest. Man, you people need to be in more control of their own self because. You know what I'm saying? You sit back and constantly give up control to everybody else. You're never going to be able to take care of anything that you wanted to do. Yes, so. I will. That's what, that's what servants are for. Servants as in what kind of servants are you talking about, bro? Uh, the ones that serve me? The ones <laughs> Sir, sir, I dare sir. you. I double, I double dog dare you. No, for real, we don't want to put that up on my ass here. Mike, no. what, bruh? Hi, Mike. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Babe, come put your mouth on. Come on, like we did last time. Well, we just got banned for Facebook for six months. Wow, this guy. What do you mean? I have guns out all the time on my other stuff. They can't ban us. No, I don't think so. I would hope oh. not. But uh, why? Why yeah, would you put a one anyways? Huh? Because this is, this is through Streamyard, so nobody else can see it, right? This is live on Facebook, brother. Oh shit! Yeah. This is live. Hi, this ATF. Is, <laughs> this is live. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Y'all don't want me to go start pulling stuff off that special place. No. No. I've seen the special stuff. No. Don't. No. Don't do that. Don't. No. Don't do that. Don't. Don't do that. So anybody smoking? No. You go ahead. Do, do your thing. Go ahead. Um, Turn into a chimney. Go ahead, do you? <laughs> he said turn into a chimney. All right. You got it, sir. Mike. Uh, huh? What about a business as in a funeral home? You got the ovens for the funeral home, man? You, um... I know I you're doing it. I can get financing, but I don't know how much we're going to need. I don't want nothing to do with it. I just want to own it. I'm I'm not look like I was saying I'm gonna be I want to be a silent partner. I don't know how to run no funeral home. I don't want to run either. a funeral home. We hire I, people that know how to run them. Yeah, we gotta get some clientele first. Yeah, that ain't hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why you you ain't lying about that. <laughs> <laughs> the state, the state pays for over one million. Burials a year alone in Michigan. The state pays for it. So maybe we should be team abortion. I support abortions. I'm 100% with abortions and everything like that. But hey, hey, really talking about owning a funeral home. So. Well, check this out. What if I said, what if I said abortion should be legal all the way up to the age of 17? Yeah. Yeah, there should be no question. I agree with you on that. The abortion should be up to... I don't know. It depends on what the reason for the abortion is. <laughs> Here, pass that down the Lexus. I'm just saying. 
abortion should be illegal, should be legal up to the third trimester. Yes, but you said seventeen, man. No, you shouldn't. No, no, just no. No, if you ain't got it right in the first 17 years, it ain't gonna get right. I am so glad I could put it on. Um, I'm glad the kids ain't gonna be able to see this video because this man here, he what do you mean, everybody? This is a nine millimeter XDM Springfield subcompact everyday carry EDC. Um, it's what me and Mike keep with us in the garbage truck lately. Um, there'd be a bad truck to run up on. Uh, well, hold 16 in the mag. Um, you can get them on sale for about 500 bucks, 600 bucks. Um, I bought mine from, um, Midwest shooters out of Holland, Ohio or Savannah. 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 Um, I don't know. I've got about 30 different pistols. Got a bunch of rifles. And somebody uh, still tried to run in your crib and didn't realize that too, huh? Yep, yep. Now nah, we just I, fucked them up though. Somebody just wanted to see Jesus a little bit sooner than necessary. Hey, but you I been thinking right about I actually been thinking about riding around with a paintball gun just to keep it on me. Like, yo, you know what? Don't do it. Don't don't ride around with a paintball gun. It's a crime. If you up a paintball gun on somebody. It's the same charge as up in a, uh, a regular firearm. Um, if it has a firing trigger or mechanism and you use it with ill intent or in a deceivious way, the state of Michigan will find you to be carrying concealed weapon and would charge, uh, could that happen to somebody? I know they froze their paintballs, put them in the freezer, then ran around shooting people with them and it became a felony because they were using the paintball gun in a nefarious manner. And okay, then I just won't freeze. I just won't freeze the pellets. Okay. I don't use pellets. Get little beanbags. You know what? Okay. You know what? I fix all this. I'm just gonna ride around with a blow dart. I'm not even about to trip. This motherfucker. What a fool! Hang on, hang on. Here's Michael Blackson, everybody. Home, 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 home. <laughs> <laughs> He said, come to me now, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, man? Come in, sit with me. Hey, look. <laughs> you take care of that. Did you see Big Mike? So come bring your ass over here, babe. Come on. I've been following Big Mike now on... Uh, Mike, I've been watching some of your other videos, commenting some gay stuff to bring in the LGBT community. No, we don't want the alphabet crew. <laughs> the alphabet crew is the ATF for one. No, 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 no. That's 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 that they, we got a new name for them because that no, 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 that's the well, well what the fuck is <laughs> with people? What, what's <sighs> whatever, whatever, Mike? You know how I feel about my game. No, I have no like the real talk. I have no problem with them. I just hey, I do shit for shock value. Whoever follows me, follows me. I ain't tripping about it. I don't give a shit. I truly don't give a shit. I know. In all honesty, it, it, oh. it makes like it's like you just said, what you do in your bedroom doesn't even yes, really matter. Sure. I don't care. I just don't need that shown on TV every time I watch a show. That's I true. See two niggas trying to cross swords or two chicks scissoring. Maybe I just want to watch a normal movie without all the foolishness. If I want to watch, if I want to watch a porn, I could just go to XNXX or Pornhub or whatever. But man, when I'm watching normal TV, I, <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't. I don't. Um. I mean, it, it's everyday life, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not sitting up here searching it out for it, looking for it, or anything of that nature. But if it comes up, you know what I'm saying? I kind of expect it to pop up. But, uh, but No, but that's the problem. You're expecting it. Like, that's because every in every show, it's always somebody doing something. I'm like, yo, can I just watch a very good show without all that? Let's keep it real. Let's just really be honest. Back in the 80s and 90s, how many movies did you actually see, like, you know, straight people kissing in all the time? Like, seriously. 
It might have been some romance in there, but it's like, yo, they wasn't busting yeah. slob every scene. Like, yo, we actually have whole action movies where there wasn't no love in it. Because that's a movie. You know what I'm saying? That everybody want to be all... Uh, a lot of people just... That's what we were saying earlier. A lot of people just want to be sensitive now. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't got too that damn sensitive. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Even my, yo. Mike, how can I switch it from my phone to my laptop? Just um go to the same login from the lap from the laptop that I sent you. Streamyard.com. Yes, just the same link. Just don't say it. Just the same link, brother. Oh my bad. So uh, <laughs> big dick uh black one on one. Step bro, what are you doing, step bro? Hey y'all, meet my sister. This is my kissing cousin. You've been swallowing babies. We don't do abortions out here. We put the kids on the old slushy slide. Hey, don't play with that one. That one's fully loaded. That's the 40. Here. What is this one? Shit, that's this the 40. This just slide. turned into the. <laughs> How many more you got over there? You put on my camera. When you go live, you just don't know what. I, I just, I don't know what to say to that one. This is. Hey, well, remember what Boosie said? Remember what Bootsy said? Yeah. <laughs> Bootsy said something. I know $5. next time. I don't know about going live no more. This motherfucker here. This motherfucker here. This I'm ready for Russia. Y'all don't even know about this one of my babies right here. We tactical. Um, This is just one of like many. It's my favorite one though because it's black like Mike. Mm. Mike, it almost smells like you too. Long and strong. Look at here's Mike, a little greasy, a little sweaty. <laughs> no, no. What the fuck is you what? talking about, man? What the? What the, what the fuck, man? Uh, we, I love you, Mike. We, Mike, don't act like we, we should know. Fuck no, man. Like. We close, man. We we real close. We go to lunch together four days a week. So y'all going on dates four days a week? Oh, Hell yeah. Friend. You want to join that bullshit too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got to do with this shit at fucking work. We up there at fucking Wendy's. This, hold on. I'm going to fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? We at motherfucking Wendy's. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, check it out. We yeah, at fucking Wendy's. He been making gay jokes all fucking day, right? All these Every fucking day, all day. Then... Yeah, he be doing that shit too. Then when we get to the fucking Wendy's and he see this other guy behind the counter is actually gay, all of a sudden I ain't quiet because he's bigger than him, he's more diesel than him, and he afraid that he may get his booty hole took because he don't want to make I no gay. I would have gave it up though. We would have made it. A... You would have gave it up to him too, huh? We would have made a chocolate swirl. That's nasty in the motherfucker. You up there, you nasty son of a bitch. You a nasty son of a bitch. I think. You know what? Ain't just some bullshit. Motherfucker, you. You's a nasty motherfucker. Oh, my God. I can't. I, I... Oh, God. Somebody, somebody just. Somebody is sending me messages on a text. I just read a text and when my face went like that as well. It started as I don't know, man, but I I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, you see are you seeing these um the YouTube comments over here that um that I'm getting? No, I, I don't. I I clicked on the link, so I'm in the link. I don't see the the and I'm on my phone too when I do this yeah, you should. Um, uh, I don't know. Let me see how I can do this. I don't know. I don't, I'm trying, but for some reason it wouldn't let me do it. I, I, I could be. I forgot how to screen. Um, hold on. Let me see something. No comments either. Yeah. Oh wait, that ain't it. Go dead eggs. Hey, you on a computer now, Dave? Yeah, we're trying to figure it out. No, I'm saying you on. I just let you in. I'm still I'm still looking at you from my phone. Hang on. 
Yeah, though, man. No, but this motherfucker, he, he, and when he ran into the um the guy behind the counter and shit, he up there constantly, <laughs> he low key flirting with my man, and my man is getting excited. I thought it was about to go down for a minute. I'm like, I'm not in the middle of that. I, hey, I'm gonna stand over here and mind my business. I don't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? No smoke at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All righty, so, so all right, y'all gonna you, somebody gonna bite off more than they can choose. Chew, just saying. Hey, so if I wanted hey, to jump, go ahead, go ahead. Um. Um, but no, I was, I was asking you if, uh, if I wanted to do it on the computer, do I have to make an account? Uh, no, you just log in just like, uh, anything, just, just log in to the, uh, website I sent you. The yeah, link- I'm at, I'm at, Steve, I'm at StreamYard and it says, uh, log in with Google or email. Yeah. Use your email, use your email that you want to use and just log in that way. Even if you've never set up account an account before, yeah. If you don't have an account with um with these people, you don't have to um set it up. All you need to do is just click on the um just log in through your log in through log in your email account, and it should just pop directly up in there. Cause that's how I got it. That's how I'm, that's how I'm using my laptop. Okay, cause like on the page it says no account with that email. Is this is actually me to create account to create an account. You don't have a regular email account? Wait a minute. Huh? I don't have enough. I don't I've never logged into stream with um with, Hold on. you sent it to my yo, you sent it to my phone. That's what I'm saying. You never sent it to my email. Hold on, give me a sec. Hold on, let me let me try, see something real quick. Let me try something real quick. Yeah, cause it, um, only thing I did is I just opened up a new window. That's what I'm doing now. I just opened up a new window and I just typed it into the um, the thing, and it's going through the process on everything. Well, and it should just I, let you directly in there. We can log in with Google, create new account on my shit. Yeah, Streamyard.com, and it's. It's, I'm looking at it, it just says log in with Google or log in with your email. I mean, it's cool. I could do it later. I just figured I'd hop up and use the computer because I'm on my phone. Is my man still with us? He logged out. Okay, let him back in. Lexit. The home, the home, the home, the home, the home. What the hell was that? Because the phone and the computer was probably logged in at the same time, so it was echoing back. It looped it for whatever reason. How do I? How do I bring it up on the computer now? I'm at the homepage. Just um, up in just where the website at. Just log it. Just type it up there, and it should just come right in. Now it made me make an account. I'm at the home page, like library destination, member referrals, live stream recording, on air webinar. I don't know why. I don't know why is it doing that. It shouldn't. It should just look like how I logged you into the phone. It should just take you straight to it. Did you send me something on Messenger? No, I sent it to you in a text message. Yeah, I can't get it over. <laughs> I, I see the text message that you got too, man. I just look. I just see? looked at my phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just looked at my phone.
¿sí? ¿Cómo ven? ¿Cómo ven? Yeah, I'll pick him up. See how, See how I just, I just, I just, I just myself, it. myself into it. What the so, fuck? Yeah. 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 All right, so let me try this. Hey, let me. There we go. Yeah, I I, I had to click click the button. That's it. No. So it's on the laptop now, right? I got to no. log in through on the laptop, but I just emailed the link to my. Yeah, you're supposed to go slack. I right, try that then. I don't even know how you got to that. Where's everybody at? Where are these comments at? Why can't I read them, y'all? I don't know. What they're not popping up. I don't know. I've seen a bunch of stuff popped up, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, these two was earlier, but well, that one was earlier, so. Baby pussy juice, let me eat your butt. What? I said, baby pussy juice, let me eat your butt and bust my nut in your mouth. You was a nasty mom. We ain't nasty. I got a, I got a happy sex life. I get my butt licked. <laughs> sometimes what? I get a scared, but sometimes I get a little nervous. What you nervous for? You used to getting pegged anyway, so what's the problem? Yeah, but like, you're usually the one doing the pegging then, Mike. I don't think so. I have no, 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 no. No, no, no chance in hell. No chance in hell. Oh. Hell has, hell has not froze over. Even if it did freeze over, nah, I'm not. Uh, nah, I ain't doing no back. I'm not a backdoor bandit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, not my cup of tea. If that's your thing, though, do you? I'm gonna do me over here. I'll do you over there, over here. Hey, we got it. <laughs> See, see, it, it ain't hard. It ain't hard. <laughs> hey, you can kick that other crackheaded motherfucker out. Hi, I smoke crack. Yeah, well, we could tell. We could tell. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't we we, we can tell. I don't even smoke weed. Hey, man, one of these days, she's just going to punch you in the back of the neck, though. One of these days, you're probably gonna put one of these five, five, six rounds in the back of my head. No, nah, that'd be too messy. <clears throat> she likes. I know them. a place. She likes a mess, though. The, the Stevens yard. Give <laughs> <laughs> <Hand> me the. <laughs> uh... Something in one the back of the truck. What? Yeah, pretty much. I'm so hot. I'm sweating profusely. Well, you're naked. No. Our ratings will go up through the roof. No, no, no. no. We're, no we're trying to. <laughs> we're, we're not on that website yet. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, no, they would no go down with me. Babe, any tits would be good tits. No, okay. They, they would go down with me. Sorry. Show your boobies. No. Kyle, she's going to show her boobies. You're just in time. I don't even show you my boobies. And y'all in a relationship and you ain't seen her boobies yet? What's what's going on here? No, that, that's that's not. No, we're saving it for uh, special. No, I'm just insecure. What are you insecure? Wait a minute. How are you insecure? And that's your man. Cause he's if he see, I always think if he's gonna see me for what I actually look like, then he's gonna leave me and run for the streets. Have you seen him? He ain't trying to go nowhere. You, you you look oh, here. Let you, me don't, you don't you don't know him like I do, Mike. I, I used to I, be a. Look here, I've oh, been working with this man. Left. I've been working with this man for a minute, and every day he talks about you so highly. You know what? You ain't going nowhere, cause he don't want you to go nowhere. He one of them right, soft right. suckers. 
He's sensitive. Soft. He be crying. No I matter married. how much he try to say he he's a tough guy, he not. He love you so freaking much. Everybody says that. Hey, last night in the middle of the night, I was like, baby, I'm cold. Can you come come cold with me? Hey, where you been, bro? He's a big baby behind closed doors. What up? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yup, big C's cuz crip it. Crip gang. <laughs> I wouldn't be throwing up gang signs. All right, so I don't even know. Wait, I'm just my name, Dave. <laughs> yep, that's Dave. He one of them special ones. One of them All special. Right, hey, my mama loved me. My mama said I'm very special. I know. Did you bring your? Make sure you bring your helmet to work, okay? I got KY. We just got a new bottle, Mike. That that's that's not gonna be nothing I'm gonna deal with. Whatever you got going on with your KY is whatever you got going on with your KY. That's between you Why two over there. KY for your brown eye. I don't think so. Mike, I, I, I'm acting tough for your boy. I ain't acting tough for nobody. Ain't, ain't nobody doing nothing this back, none of this back door business going on over here. Fuck that. Oh, nobody Fuck said back door business. Bro. It's all it's all from the mouth. So you saying you got stretch marks around your mouth or something? No. We can try it out, see what how big it is. He liked the Joker. <laughs> see me blushing, Mike? For I you, mean, my freckle, my dimples are I popping. I mean, having no teeth really gives them extra space. Yeah, the no teeth part really gives me extra what space. What the fuck is wrong with both of y'all now? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Mm-hmm. Okay. They really do that. That motherfucker's got a grip. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to bite down with these guns, bro. They strong. <laughs> they strong like bolt. <laughs> Baby, shoot me now. <laughs> Baby, rub my ass. <laughs> you got the slow time. <laughs> hey, you, you sound really far away, sir. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, it's a little better, dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Come closer. To I told you computer. about taking it too deep down your throat, Dave. <clears throat> well, Lexus Pegging, Kyle's was recording. <laughs> How did we get on this topic at all? You're <laughs> having a good unfiltered. I have no, I, I have no idea. <laughs> the topic <laughs> was discussions. Ooh. I was talking Ooh. about how the government, how people actually <laughs> willingly want to be controlled by the government. I don't know how that went from government to pegging. I mean, <coughs> whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at them little come catchers right there. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Alexis, you want to let him talk about you like that? Who who's the cut? Come on, baby go. Come on. You look like a fucking hunchback in North Game. Baby, you look beautiful. I would fuck everybody on the screen except the guy on the bottom. <laughs> he ain't my type. Good. <laughs> not my type either. <laughs> what do you got something wrong with white people, bro? I'm not your type either, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you are my type. No, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> Mike, you know why I know you're my type? Because you're on top. <laughs> was that him in the group chat? Who? Was that him? Sir, sir, do we really need to call 911 for you? Billiard. Jesus. His name's Mike, but he fucked up on his Facebook and somehow put Billy or something. What happened with your Facebook? Why is your name Billy? Because that's what I wanted it to be. It's, it's supposed to be Belly, but I, it put an I instead of an E. That's what I wanted to put on there. So that's why it's on there. Come on, dude. What the fuck, man? Hand me a pistol. Which one? I did not put that there. Oh, my God. We definitely are now getting in trouble. I was fine with it, but I'm like, yo. What the fuck, man? What the they're just firearms, and they're all completely illegal. Uh-oh. I'm not an op out You're here. Like they're not. Did this oh, yeah, motherfucker just say it was completely illegal? 
The fuck? You know what's the only thing that's illegal here is a gap between Mike's teeth. No oh, shots fired. I used to have that problem after my uncle Ross knocked my big one out. I had a big gap for a while. And he was just moving your teeth out of his way so his dick can fit in. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I never did ask him. He always got me when I was sleeping. My I know. That's what, you just woke up with a screaming from a so booty and shit, motherfucker. Dude, that sounds so good. I think I gotta go poop. Hey, hey, let's not. <laughs> no, I go. I'm not gonna talk about that one. So I'm gonna. Well, you want to hear it, Mike? If you want, I can take the laptop in there. I mean, no, please don't. Please I won't don't. do that to you, bud. The Bag of Nuts Crew, www.jmv. Shop.com. I was trying to see the comments that people was doing. I clicked on comments, but I didn't see none. No, oh, okay. Over here. Kyle, step over here. What? Animal comments came in. It was just that one. Oh, it's, it says on their comments that I could join the chat. Should I click it and then will I be able to see it? Sure. Was that a sure, sure, or were you just like, fuck it? I, I'm just at a point like, fuck it. It don't matter. Sure. Just join, just join in. Yeah, yeah never mind. Baby, I like how you're just smiling. You look so good. See, I'm telling you, we could do an OnlyFans, babe. No, no one wants to see that. I'm telling you, we wear masks. I'll put on big mics. You can I'm put on like Hillary. Body, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, man? Hey, look. What I'm look, trying to say, Mike, is I want to be just like you, but half the man. Damn. This shit's about to get real nutty. Real fucking nutty, boys. Somebody pass me the bottle. Hey, hey Mike, did we ever discuss like, did we ever discuss black tax? No, we never did that. We never no, we didn't did that yet. About what? A discussion about black what? Black ties? No, black tax. Black tax. Black? Tax? What the fuck? You ain't heard of black tax? I've heard of Sundown Towns recently. Yeah, but black tax is some different. Definitely not a Sundown Town. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it if they're just taxing blacks. No, no it's, it's, it's not that. It's, it's, it's not, not that. that. It's something else we were going to discuss. Fuck it. Somebody call the NCAAP. They cheated on that field goal. Black what field goal? What? What field goal? What a game? Football's not even in the Olympics. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> squirrel! Squirrel! You guys see that fucking squirrel? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm hungry. Cocaine's a hell of a hey, drug. Jesus is one hell of a drug. Much love. Baby, you want to see my favorite song? This little light of mine. Shut the fuck up. You hear Cindy sing about it? No, I've never heard of Black Tax until this gentleman. South Africa helping a more higher in the high, uh, in the class, like the first class Black American. Well, black I have been I have been paying attention to this. It's, it's, it's a really good thing. Black Tax is a good thing. Is that the Google? Uh, well, I do know I, South I, I, Africa I, just gave I, I blacks not, back I, I not South Africa. I no, I see, they don't know. <laughs> hey, Big Mike, I can barely hear Tommy. I said that's that's one black tax, but that wasn't the black tax I was talking about. Yeah, um, we was talking about something that's else. The one, that's the one I, I know of. Yeah, he said he, that's just the one he knows of from Africa. Hey, South well, Africa. I learned something. I learned something new today because I didn't even know. Well, I tax. just learned recently that Africa just gave the power back to the black people, and now whites are treated like dog shit. Representation is the one I didn't know. Of. It doesn't matter because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter because while you're doing like nobody should be treating anybody like dog shit. I mean, our governments do not love us and they fuck us all. So, you know what I'm saying? We're all kind of screwed in that one. <laughs> we should actually be working together so the government doesn't fuck us. Like that. All right. Listen, hear me out, you guys. Hang on. Hang on. It, uh, black tax representation, a term used in the black community to express the idea that black people have to carry the burden of representation and be twice as good just to get half as much as the motherfucking white man. 
Ain't that some bullshit? That's the. Says, the this seven. goes on. This has like at least financial obligation, representation, and how do you say that one? Institutional. In, institutional neglect. I wonder if that's the form of institutional. Let me read that one. A term used in the gender policy report to describe how racial wealth gap was created by discriminatory. Yeah. Institutional neglect. Sounds it, something it, like that. I can't pronounce half of those words. But I can understand more than you. Well, the black types we were talking about was carrying the burden of families, like how families will be like, hey, I made it to the NFL, NBA, I'm a pro golfer, so now I got to give it up, all my money up to like my cousin. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the first thing that I was talking about. Yeah, that's what I that's what we were that's what I was referring to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's what, yeah, uh, higher income helps the the less incomes basically is what I was saying. Yeah, no, I was like, well, with black tax, it's always like, hey, whoever makes it got to bring in the whole family, and I don't always agree with that because I was out there doing the work yeah. and my family wasn't. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my mom and dad and make sure they're set. This then I I might pay off their pay off their house and shit, but that don't mean they're getting a brand new house. No. Yeah. Always help the people that help you type shit. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. They got to look out for the 30, 50, 60, 80 cousins and stuff on the side. Shit, no. I'm looking out for the five and I got them all on one hand. What's up? I Hey, 100%. I agree with you on that. Fuck all them cousins. <laughs> I need a haircut and a shave. You know what really are the best cousins? I look like shit. Yeah, you do. I have to agree with that. I'm a hundred percent. Hey, Mike. I know, right? What? <laughs> I think if anybody asked about me driving Friday, you weren't feeling good. We were spotted on old 424. You said that's white? It's green, though. You're in no trouble. No, I just said that one. It's all me. You, you want my ass. No, I don't need the green. That's white. Okay. And you're over there eating, just chilling. In the picture, one picture is of me driving, the other picture is of you in the passenger seat eating. <laughs> bro, hang on, I'll show you the goddamn picture right now, bro. I swear to God, I was like, I was don't, like, uh, don't, Mike do had not. Some problems. I was like, do not. Like, Mike Sugar was Mike Sugar. Do not. <laughs> no. Hey, you gotta see this picture, bro. Dave. I'm gonna cut you off if you show that picture. Dave. No, you don't. You don't see the camera's too dirty to really see anything. Yeah. The camera in the fucking truck is dirtier than shit, bro. But Monday, don't worry, that motherfucker's getting a piece of electrical tape put over it. Never, ever again will they see me. No more rolls of paper towel blocking it or putting your phone there for me, Mike. And Mike, here I am just cruising away, bro. There's two pictures. <laughs> Can I show you a picture? Uh, 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 you and I have going to Pontiac. Y'all ain't learned. Y'all ain't learned from Kwame Kilpatrick. Y'all caught on text messages? <laughs> Two years ago. Hey, Kwame ain't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Is that when I came to your rescue with no fault? You ain't supposed to, <laughs> you ain't supposed to kill the, la the leisure ladies, man. Hey, I don't have no idea what you speak of. Hey, Tommy, you got to give him credit. Mike got out and threw the whole goddamn road by himself. That's how fast chicken change. It hasn't even And it ain't easy. It ain't easy. I only get out if there's two or more and help him. He don't ever get out and help me if it's four or five or eight. Fucker. He up there watching fucking porn. <laughs> no, we ain't showing no pictures. No, we're not showing no pictures. See y'all see the um the message that popped up. King and Shaw. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
unless um, unless I get a text message. As soon as I see Mike's text, I was like, oh, my God, he's going to put me on. Yeah, man, I, I said, uh, I, said well, I think I, you guys should do like a, uh, a firearms night. That would be fine. That would be fine. Over safety, brands, models, calipers, rifles, shotguns. I got a bunch. That's um, fine. That's absolutely fine. But warn us first before we do that. You know what I'm saying? So I could put the disclaimer out there. This motherfucker is literally just twisting up the um, Captain Morgan to the head, though. I appreciate it, but I don't like it. I guess so. Sorry, we don't drink Hennessy, Mike. I don't drink Hennessy either, motherfucker. That shit's expensive, and it's actually imported cognac from France. So I don't people think that's just some hood shit. They're completely wrong. Cognac Hennessy is actually from France. I don't drink, so I don't give a shit. Me neither. But don't you want to try that Hennessy deep flavored great, great Kool Aid fucking fried chicken? That was the most ignorant shit I ever seen in my life. No, bro. When he said we've been out naked by the nigga, I lost my shit in that video, bro. That motherfucking nigga had me weak. And then, hey, Tommy Gunn, you need to look up the video called uh, "I'm the Easter Bunny." I'm the I'm the Easter Bunny. It's this cocky ass black dude that's eating a chocolate bunny, and then all of a sudden he's covered in Hershey's chocolate. Ooh, boy. His pectorials were all bound. See what I'm talking about? How, how, how I did, gotta deal with this gay shit every day? What do you mean, man? It's not my fault you're not comfortable with your sexuality. I get booty every night, morning. I get a, it's about whenever I ask for it, as long as I'm behaved, but. <laughs> okay. You guys ready? We're gonna hit a ball. Do a dab. Are you about to do some drugs? The one that we picked up. Yeah. I don't smoke. No. Hey, go see who's out back. Go see who's here. Who ain't smoke around here? Why? Where you at? Your mom's basement? Fuck you. No. <laughs> David. It's my boy. I just talk to shit. He can say whatever he wants to me. I don't got no fucking well, feelings. Don't say no bad Shut the you. fuck up! Ah! That's my white slave roach. Nothing but respect. I am very respectful. Big yeah, white kids. Yeah, right. You just said something respectful. Hey, you guys. You know what I found out today? What? That... Right, I found out why black people don't go on cruises. This motherfucker here. I found out why. <laughs> they no, already was this... tricked on that shit once. They said we're not falling for it again. That is so messed up. Dude, I, I actually do want to go on a cruise. Don't do it, man. You're going to get left at some port with no no passport and be fucked somewhere. Uh, and on that note, it's time to wrap this shit the fuck on up. Uh, no, see. no, no. We about to pull out the Michael Blackson jokes. Mm -mm. We're already at an hour and a half. I only been here for 26 minutes. I don't know where you get that. Yeah, we we, we about to wrap this shit the fuck on up. Have a good fucking day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't even have no shots out. Uh, I got uh, shots yeah. out, homie. Thank you. You guys be safe. I'll throw a shout out. I'm gonna throw a shout out to you, Mike, for coming through on the um on our get together for that uh after your karaoke thing. Thanks for coming through because you're probably the only one of the of the um of the movement that actually came through. So I definitely appreciate that most definitely. You never told me I would have came. Well, it was a meet and greet for all the groomsmen. So, and Mike held it down. Don't know what happened to the. Well, I know what happened to two of them. I don't know what happened to the other two. So, but I is much is greatly appreciated. So, it's cool, man. No doubt. Besides, <sighs> I ain't got nothing else. 
Dave, you want to say bye to anybody, man? Why I got this thing open? Let's give you a bye, check. Alexis. Bye, everybody. Bye, Mike. It was nice talking to you. Nice meeting you, other person. Tommy Guns is what Tommy. I mean. Nice meeting you too. All, All right, right, you so. guys. I'm done. Stay beautiful, Mike. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning, baby. We boy. love you, Mike. Uh, <laughs> All the best. I'm out. Oh man, we're not together tomorrow, Mike.